What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a simple cinematic title inside Resolve 16. Let's get into it. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I love teaching you guys tips and tutorials. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and join along. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do this simple cinematic text inside Resolve Let's jump inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So you can see here, I built this text. It's got a few little tweaks into it. It's got a nice glow, nice blur, but it's very simple, very clean, straightforward. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna delete all of that and we're gonna start completely fresh. First thing you're gonna do is right click and go down the new fusion composition. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna name it, set it to whatever the time you want it to be. We're just gonna do ours six seconds because I feel like that's good. We're also gonna set the frame rate and we are gonna hit create. It's gonna make us a new fusion composition in here. We're gonna double click on it and it's gonna hop us over inside fusion. Now inside Fusion, the only thing we have right here is just our media out. So the first thing we're gonna do is scroll up here to the text. We're gonna hit text, or you could hit shift space and you could bring up text that way. But we're just gonna use the shortcut right here built in. We're gonna pull that over here. We're gonna hold on to it, drag it up to the screen and let it go. You can see nothing's on there because we haven't typed anything yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll up here to the side. Again, if this is not here, make sure your inspector is clicked on. We are gonna type in Iron Giant. We're gonna scroll through here and pick a text that we like. I'm just gonna go with that. Again, keep in mind, you want this to be very clean, very simple. That's kind of the whole point. So I wouldn't get too crazy with some cursive and stuff. You can do text like that, but that's not what we're trying to go for right here. Then we're gonna size it up just a little bit. I'm gonna make the spacing a little bit more. That's a little bit too big, so we're gonna bring that down just a skosh. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it. We're gonna go down to the follower and that's gonna bring up our modifier. We're gonna click on the modifier and under the first tab, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go make sure all characters are checked. We're gonna do, let's do random one by one and that's fine. We're gonna do the delay, let's say 3.2 is fine. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the paint tab. And here you can set a multitude of different many things, but we really only need the first tab, so that's all we're staying inside. We're gonna scroll down here to softness, and we're gonna bring both X and Y all the way up. Now I know you're looking at it and you're saying nothing's happening, that's because we have to hit a keyframe in each one of those. We're also gonna bring the glow, let's just say to, that's fine right there, 0.165. We're gonna add a keyframe. Now if we scrub through it, you can see the text is slowly revealing our letters, which is what we want. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back over to the tools. We are gonna add a keyframe on the tracking and the size. We're gonna scroll back to the very beginning. We're gonna lift our track up just a bit so it's kind of coming in. We're also gonna do the same thing with sizing, not too crazy. So now when it's revealing the text, it's kind of pulling it into the middle. The last thing we're gonna do is go back to the modifiers. We're gonna bring it probably, I don't know, let's say 16 frames. We're gonna drop a keyframe, and then we're gonna scroll right to the beginning and we're gonna drop that all the way to zero. I hold off on doing this to the very end so I can see what I'm affecting because if I needed to adjust something now, I'm gonna have a hard time seeing anything at all. One last thing that's kind of bothering me is it's very just abrupt. It doesn't ease in. So we're gonna go to the spline. We are gonna make sure our text is selected. We're gonna click it on and click it off. Scroll right to where all our keyframes are. We're gonna highlight all of those and we're gonna click this right here to smooth them out. Now if we play it through, it's a lot smoother and it doesn't seem to just have this hard hit. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our text and we're gonna attach it to our media out. Then we're gonna jump back over into the edit tab and now we have this whole thing right here. We're gonna drop it on our timeline and then you can see the finished product. If you need to go back in there and tweak things, you can just double click back in the Fusion tab. You can go in and tweak as much as you want. Then we'll just grab a video clip or an image of anything we like. We'll drop that on the back. 
So that's basically it guys. That's just a very simple text for you guys. If you wanna add video clips or spice it up or do anything like that, you can do that. Maybe if you wanna add a lens flare at the end, whatever that is, you can spice it up. But that's just a basic, simple cinematic text for you guys. So if you guys are new here, click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. Uh, drop a comment below. Let me know some new videos you wanna see coming out. I'm the Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. I'm out.